Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, I wanna show you how to stream BigBox to your Android or your iOS device. This will work on a phone or a tablet. There are a few specific requirements you need to meet before this will even work. We're gonna be using an app on our Android or our iOS phone called Moonlight. It's a free app and I'll leave a link in the description. Now the only real downside to this is it does not work with AMD graphics cards. You need a GeForce 600 series or above for this to work. So if you have an AMD card, this Moonlight option will not work for you. I have a GTX 1060 in here. I also have a 950 in my other PC and it works fine. You will have to have the PC you're streaming from and the device you want to stream to on the same exact network. It works a lot better if you're using AC Wi-Fi. But in this video, I'm going to be using a regular old 2.4 gigahertz connection. The PC I'm going to be streaming from is on Ethernet, but my phone's on Wi-Fi. First thing you're going to need, obviously, is Big Box. You will need Steam installed, and you'll need the GeForce Experience. Then, you're going to need an Android phone. I'm going to be using a OnePlus 5. I'll leave links to Steam and GeForce Experience down in the description. We're gonna launch the GeForce Experience because we need to enable game streaming. From here, we'll go to Settings, Shield, and make sure Game Stream is turned on. Now that Game Stream is enabled on your PC, you'll be able to connect with your Android phone using Moonlight. Next thing we need to do is add Big Box to Steam. I'm gonna open up Steam. Now I have a big box shortcut on my desktop. I'm gonna be using this. Games, add a non-Steam game. It'll populate the list. And my big box shortcut is right here. I'm gonna make sure this is checked. I'm gonna add selected programs. We'll go to our library, games, and we have big box located here now. Now that we have that all set up, I'm gonna go ahead and launch Moonlight on my Android device. You will need to be on the same exact network for this to work. I already see my PC on my Android phone screen, and I'll show you this in a second. I'm gonna click connect, and we're gonna get a pin on the screen of our Android phone. We'll need to put it in right here, and then we'll click connect. And I'll do this live in just a second. I just wanted to show you the desktop doing this. Let's move over to my workbench, and we can finish setting this up. All right, so here we are. I'm actually using a GameSir G3S controller with a phone mount, as you can see. But I did order the mount for the PlayStation 4 controller. Hopefully it'll be here tomorrow. This controller does work great, and they're pretty cheap on Amazon if you want to try one out. I already have Moonlight launched. I just tapped my PC because I'm on the same network. It should show up. Gave me a pin. I need to move over to the PC, put the pin in, and then we'll be connected. All right, after inputting my pin on my PC, we're good to go. The GeForce Experience automatically scanned for all of the games that I have installed, and I also have Steam listed here. I'm gonna move over to Steam, press A, and by the way, this is a Bluetooth controller. I have connected it to the phone itself. We're now in Steam Big Picture mode, streaming from my PC. You might need to give it about five seconds to recognize the controller but there's still a few settings we need to change to make our controller work correctly in Big Box. So I'm gonna go ahead and capture the screen on my phone so you can see it a little better. We're gonna move over there now. All right, so here we are. I'm just mirroring my phone screen here. We're gonna go up to the settings icon, scroll to controller settings. Now, if your controller's not working just yet, you can always use the keyboard that's connected to the PC you're streaming from and enable your controller. There's a configuration for PS4, Xbox, and generic. I have my Xbox and generic checked. Seems to work great with this controller. It does detect it as an Xbox controller, but I leave generic gamepad just in case. You can experiment with this all you'd like. We're gonna back up. Now we're gonna go to our library, and we're gonna find our big box EXE that we just added to Steam. We're gonna go into this menu, manage shortcut, controller configuration. From here, we need to press X. If you look at the very bottom of the screen, you can see browse configs. 
Go to Templates and choose Gamepad. This will make the controller act like an Xbox controller. You'll have Y, X, B, A instead of a keyboard layout on the controller. Press X to apply the configuration and B to back up. Now we're going to go to Controller Options. Since I'm using an Xbox controller, you might have to experiment with this, but these are the settings that I use. I uncheck Allow Desktop Configuration and Launcher and leave Enabled Overlay of Non-Steam Game and Use Steam Configuration for Non-Steam Controllers checked. You can turn Rumble on if you'd like. When you're done, press OK and we can start Big Box. Give it a second to load up and you're now streaming Big Box to your Android or iOS device. So there's a couple more settings I want to go over here. First up, we're going to go to our big box settings. We'll go to options. And like I mentioned, if your controller's not working in big box, you can use your keyboard to set this up. We're going to scroll all the way down to controller. You want to make sure enable game controllers is checked. I also check use all controllers. Controller buttons. If one of your buttons is off, you can always go in here and remap your buttons. It seems to work fine out of the box. And then finally, controller automation. Use controller automation. We're going to set up a hotkey button, a button that we hold. So I'm going to set that up as B. Close the active window. I'm going to set up as Y. Now when I hold B and press Y, it's going to close the emulator and bring me back in the big box. We're now ready to play. I'm going to move back over to my workbench and I'm going to show you this running on my Android device. All right, so I just wanted to give you a little demo here. It runs really smooth. Like I mentioned, you need a good router for this to work because I'm working wirelessly to my phone from my main PC. I am using a simple $25 Belkin router. It's only BG and N, but if you have an AC Wi-Fi router, it's going to work a lot better. Let's get into some gameplay here. This is Soul Calibur 2 streaming from my big box PC using the Dolphin emulator. So I've been using this controller for about two months now. A lot of people don't like them because input lag and stuff like that, but I don't notice any input lag. The dead zones are a little off, but for 30 bucks with a mount, it's Bluetooth, plus it comes with a wireless dongle, you really can't beat it. If you already have a PlayStation 4 controller, you can order a mount for about 10 bucks, and even the Xbox One S controller with Bluetooth works with Android, so those will also work. But I needed a mount, so I went ahead and ordered this thing. And as you can see, we're streaming big box to our Android phone, and it's working really well. And to exit, you're just going to need to hold your hotkey that you set up and press your exit button. Mine was B and Y. I'm back in the big box, and I can start another game. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Unfortunately, you do need an NVIDIA GPU. A 600 series and up will work. They're relatively inexpensive on eBay right now if you want to get a hold of one. Or you can always get a newer 1050 Ti or something like that. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.